Hello, hello, hello. So I had a request from Robertson Yaoming. I'm not very good with names. Okay, so it looks like Yaoming, or it might be Yaoming. So, or it might be Yaoming. Yeah, Robertson Yaoming. That may be what it is. So I apologize if I if I said that stupidly, but that's me. Hey, I'm culturally deficient. Okay. All right. So anyway. This is Electra. Now, there's uh, several versions of things to look at here, and I want to talk about that. These are really the same mod. This is the full mod, Electra with switchable hairstyles. This is if you want the two pieces split out. This is Electra, just the follower, and this is her hairstyle mod, and this is everything combined. Now, I'm going to do everything combined because I think that's going to be more fun. But I wanted to show you this because, um, let's see, the modder, let me show you. Okay. The modder is Raxinate. Now, if you get the full package here, it's a, about 119 megabytes. Let's just round up. It's about 119 megabytes. Now, unless you have some of these outfits, she's probably not going to look exactly the same as you see here. But we're going to get in the game and we'll see how she looks, okay? And she's supposed to have some some perks and different things now. Um, so that is the full package. Now this is if she comes with switchable hairstyles, which are basically wigs you can craft. This is just the wigs. If you just wanted the wigs and to be able to craft them separately. Okay. And this is just the follower if you just wanted her. So, she is Electra, and I think I've seen something similar to this, but I have not seen this. So, I'm not trying to say that, uh, well, anyway, I'm not trying to say anything bad. I, I think I, I may have looked at something like this a long time ago, but it wasn't by Raxinate, and, uh, or at least I don't think it was. And this, this seems, this seems really cool in that you get these hairstyles and you can use them they're like wigs and your character can use them or your followers can use them so any of your girls now it's girl compatible now any of those can use those now this Electra like I said I'm gonna do the full package oh the, as notice the guard has got their arms up that's funny anyway so I'm gonna do the full the full package here and we're going to see what she looks like and how everything goes. I don't imagine. It looks like she is a standalone UNP follower. So I don't think she's going to use your body mesh. But you know what? It, I, you know, you just have to look at her and see if you like her. Now, she's usually in Dragon's Reach in Whiterun n near Ferengar's area, but, or in the dining hall, but. From 8 p.m. to midnight, she goes to the Bannered Mayor. So, we're going to go look for her, and Raxinate does give you a tracking marker in the miscellaneous quest section. So, that's great. So, again, this is Electra with the switchable hairstyles. This is the complete package. This is by Raxinate. Was, this is, I mean, this is not a port, is it? I thought this was something. When I was reading this earlier, I thought this was their creation. And I believe it is. Though, of course, I mean, they may have used some things from, you know, uh, this is an Xbox port of the file version hosted on Nexus at. Okay, so this is an Xbox port of that file version. But I believe this is Raxinate's mod from what I'm seeing, from what I'm reading and understanding. So if I have that wrong, they can let me know. Anyway, <clears throat> so... This version, the all-in-one package, like I said, it's about 119 megabytes. Now, if you get the two separate packages, you're actually going to use a little more space. This is 56 megabytes, 57 megabytes. And this is 61. So, you're going to run... Well, you know what? Maybe you're going to hit... Oh, you're going to be very close to the same. I, I, you're going to be really close to the same. You might go over a little bit. Eh. You know what? I think it's negligible. So probably not much difference there. All right. But 
nonetheless, you can get these separated if you don't want the wigs and the hairdos. Um, you don't have to have that if you just want the follower. My understanding is that she is, matter of fact, let's, I think it says it better here. I think she is a merchant as well. Yeah, she trades magical merchandise. Um, she does destruction. She has some other perks that are helpful, like, um, let me see. They mentioned um, a light foot perk, you know, so, so they, she won't set off traps and things. And she has some special abilities like electromagnetic pulse. Um, so this, this will be interesting, and we, we will have to take her out and get her into some trouble. I'm not sure if she will really show her goods um, to the bandits, you know. I don't know if we'll really see everything good, so we might have to try something else. Now, this picture says 108 learnable spells. I don't know what that's about. Does that mean we can teach her 108 spells, or she just has 108 spells? I'm not 100% sure of that. She has chain sparks, though. I'm not going to mess with her. I'm not going to mess with her spells. I'm going to let her show us what she can do. Oh, you know what? They're in Blackreach. You know, we could go to Blackreach, I suppose. Maybe we can go somewhere anyway where she can show off her her abilities and maybe we can find some dragons. Now, I don't have... I did take out some of the harder mods so that we could do some shows because I needed some space anyway. So we don't have that. But we're here we're going to focus on doing shows. I'm still playing on Legendary and like I said, we'll let her see. We'll let her show us what she can do. We'll try to go to some a couple of different places or maybe just go to one good place. <clears throat> so, so this is, again, Electra and Chaotic Magic with the switchable hairstyles. KS switchable hairstyles. Uh, it is one, one big mod. That's the one we're going to do, and it's really not that big. 119 megabytes isn't that big a deal. Um, she's going to come with these hairstyles. These hairstyles are craftable at the Forge. Okay, let me see if I can find where it says that again. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go back up. Can be crafted under the miscellaneous section. They can also be tempered and upgraded at a workbench. So not only can you have a wig, you can have a wig with some armor. They're classified as light armor. And you can still wear circlets or other head accessories with these hairstyles. So I don't know what slot these hairstyles take, but it sounds like they're reasonably compatible. So... We should be able to use them and have a good time with them. So I'm going to hop out. I've got uh, someone, I guess since it's, yeah, I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to use Elris for this because she will be able to try on the hairstyles as well as we can change Electra's hairstyle. So, so we'll go find Electra and I'll meet you in the game in White Run in a moment. Up your shaft. All right, so I brought us to Dragon's Reach. Now here, when you when you first load up with Electra with that mod, you're going to get in Miscellaneous. You're going to get a tracker. It's kind of a tracker quest, but it's just a tracker so that you can track her. Now she's I'm pretty sure that's her sitting at the table there. Let me put my display on for you because I turned it off. I was taking a few pictures for fun. You know how I am. So here, we should be able to see her marker. See, it's going to point right at her. And there goes Serana. She's always being crazy. Anyway, there's one other thing that he gives you, Raxinate gives you in the mod. Let's go here to books. There is a book. And I'm sorry, I have a lot of junk. Let's go back. Here we go. Electra Spellbook, Call Electra. So you can summon Electra from anywhere with this book. Now I'm going to use this. So now we have the spell, okay? Now it does not say if that's a destruction spell or what. So I'm going to look for it. It could be an alteration spell. I probably should have looked there first. 
And it might be Summon Electra. Who knows? We just have to look for it. I was thinking it would be Electra, but it could be Summon Electra. It could be... Oh, it could be a Conjuration. That would make sense, right? Yep, Call Electra. All right, so it's Call Electra, no cost. We can equip that on our right hand. Now watch, we're just going to summon her here. And there she is. That brought her down from the table. Now hold on, girl. Stop. It's a fine day with you around. So I think um, this is a stylized, you know, outfit that she has here based on the the outfit in the game. She can teach us. She can heal and cure diseases. That's interesting. You can follow. Let's see what she has for Take sale. Look. Take a look. She looks, her eyes look a little pinched. I don't know. Maybe that's just her face right here. It's not really a big deal. She has 41,000 gold. I guess if you have her with you, you can always sell all your junk and you'll be in good shape. I'm not actually going to sell anything because I don't want to take all day and, and bore you with things like that. <laughs> but anyway, I do have a lot of junk I could sell. So, all right. So, better get going. No, no, no. Don't get going. Let's see. Follow me. Stay with me. Oh, she changed her hairstyle. Now, why did she do that? Interesting, though. I've got your back. That she did that. I kind of like that hairstyle a little better. We're not in the brightest of places, though. Tell you what, let's get her I'll follow. out of here. And we'll go see about making the wigs, and then we'll make her try them on. How's that sound? I think that's what we'll do. So, we need, um, I'll tell you what, I will meet you in the daytime down at the forge where it's nice and bright, or maybe in the cheat room. Fascinating. All right. So, I brought Electra up here to the Sky Forge, and it's a nice, bright day. Everything looks cool. So hopefully the weather will cooperate, right? So anyway, first thing we should do is look at her, and then we can look at some different wigs and things. So the first thing I want to do, I've, I've kind of told her to just kind of shut up and stand here. <laughs> That's the best way to do. So let's go in here and let's check. Let's enable her outfit management. Okay, you know what? She might actually be using this is this is our girl, Elris. She might actually be using our our body. I didn't think she would be. Pardon me, this a medium born armor sometimes is a little slow in its reaction when I take it off and on. There we go. Nope, I'm using a different body. Okay, so she is using her own UMP body. Raxane is using using her own UMP body, which is interesting. So that's good. I mean, you know, it is what it is, but I mean, she's using her own UMP body. Now, let's see. Let me go back in here. So let's look at her info. Um, let's see, do we, yeah, let's look at view. Now, she's level 69. That's because my character, Elris, is, is level 69. Let's see, she has health and stamina, mainly magic. Um, that's good. She resists fire and, and ice and, I guess that's elements or... She resists magic, so she has some good... She has very little armor, but that's okay. That's probably coming from her wig. Um, her abilities are... Wow, look at the Conjuration, Alteration, Restoration, and Destruction. She is definitely all-out caster. That's very good. Very good. So, let's see. I, now I don't know if this will show her all, her all her spells. She has some custom spells. So, yeah, they're not going to show up because they're custom spells. Don't worry about that. She will still have her spells. Now, perks, she has one-handed. She has some sneak. 
perks so that she doesn't set off traps and stuff. Then it looks like she has a lot of destruction, conjuration, and restoration. Which is good. This might make her a good all-around damage dealer and healer, which would be great. Um, I don't think there's anything we care about under AI. Nope, that's fine. She she helps us. That's good. And I don't think there's anything under miscellaneous. She's marriageable, though. And we are managing her inventory, so that's okay. All right. <clears throat> so... This is good. I'm not going to mess with her in any way. I want her to use her spells and do all her stuff. So we're not going to mess with her like that. Um, here, well, hold we on a second. Her. Okay. So here, that's her basics, right? I mean, we know she has. She's going to have spells that we don't. We'll see in action here shortly. Does he look grumped or what? All right. Anyway, let me use this guy forge, dude. Get out of my way. Let me use this guy forge here. All right, so down in miscellaneous is where we're supposed to find her wigs. So let's go down here and find her wigs. Oh, here's her hairstyles. Okay, so here's her different hairstyles. I'm going to make one of each one, and between the two of us, we'll try them out. Maybe I'll just let her try them out, because I think they're going to look better on her. So let's do this. We'll do the cookie, the crescent, the desperate. This is to show you where they are so that you'll know for certain that they, they can be found in miscellaneous. And that you can just pop down here and create them. Oh, Elris might have the god ring on, so the stats for these wigs is out of proportion to what makes sense. Give me a moment, I'll take that off, and that should send the stats back to where they should be. If it doesn't, then I'll redo this, and I won't I won't bore you with that. There's a lot of hairstyles here, though, you have to admit. Oh, oh, and this is her, this is her robes. Very nice. I didn't look at her robes, so we'll take a look at her robes. I guess boots don't matter. So we'll take a look at her robes, but if you wanted to use her robes, you can. Let's take a look at her inventory. Yeah. I did not really look. Let's see. Let's see what's in her backpack. That's always interesting. What's in your backpack? She has the usual hunting bow. Oh, she already has the hairstyles. I didn't even have to make them. You can just grab them right here. Let me take the uh, the god ring off. That is throwing off the stats. I do apologize. Um... Elris was in a much tougher game previously. <laughs> so anyway, let's let's take a look now at her hairstyles. Okay, that's more like it. Now these are upgradable. I'm going to take all her hairstyles, I think. What's this? Interesting. Oh, this is increases adds a profile record. Oh, this tells you more about her. Very cool. She's five. Really, she's five foot eight. That's that's mm, tallish. It's not tall, really. I mean, oh my goodness. Now I'm not sure all these stats. Wow, what is all of this? Is this spell she can learn available to purchase? Oh, interesting. So all those are available to purchase. We'll have to look at that. All right, so let me look here. Um, first off, let's go ahead and just take all her hairstyles because we're going to upgrade some of this. Well, I just made a bunch. You know what? We'll leave those with her. We'll leave those with her. What is this about? Let's see. Can we? Let's see. Look at that. She makes the pinched face. Do you see that? Her eyes are kind of scrolled up. I mean, uh, pinched up at me. Okay. Okay, so here's her spell books. You can buy these for her. Let's see. So, ability to breathe is going much faster. Let's 
Blazing Inferno, unleash a flaming blaze that scorches targets for 90 fire. Wow. This is the Call Electra. Now, we have that already, but it's good that it's here in case you lost it or got rid of it. Call Florencia summons experimental electrical flame elemental to, to side by you in battle. Successful summon requires elemental potency. Interesting. Summons a different one, Validico. Hmm. Celestial Ray. So you can buy her all these spells. Does that mean she doesn't have any spells right now? We're going to wait. I'm not going to buy any of these until we take her out and see what she does. It could be that we have to buy these for her to have any spells. How interesting. That's a different way of looking at it. That way you can just give her the spells you want her to have. That's not a bad idea at all. You emanate, you emanate aquamarine, blue light, crimson red. Hmm, that could be fun. So there's a number of fun options in here. I don't know if I'll be able to try them all out without spending a lot of time. But we'll see what she does before we buy any of these. Okay, and then maybe we'll come back and buy a bunch of them. Maybe we'll even buy all of them. I don't know. We don't need the spell tomes. I just want to see her, her spells and how she does. How interesting. That's not a bad idea, though. All right. So, let me think about this for a minute. We looked at her stats. We looked at what she's carrying. We still did not look. Where is... Here we go. What do you want me to carry? Let's just look at her inventory. Now, she has this blade. And it is kind of a, um, a short... Um... Wow, Oriental Blade, and I can't think of the right word. I think they said it was a Tonto. Um, oh, you can see it on her hip there. I, I, I missed that. It's kind of a dagger. Anyway, dual frost and electrical. Oh, and when equipped, you gain 50% ice and electrical resistance. Good. She has these robes, which I think are the same ones I just made. That's interesting. Now, she's wearing the crescent hairstyle. Now, why, I don't know, because she wasn't wearing this before. I'm going to take this, and we're going to see what her default. And there she just says merchants. I'm going to take this. Okay, there's her default hairstyle. Now, this default hairstyle is not bad. I'll just be here this now. reminds me of Jade's default hairstyle. But I, I would always change it. If you remember the green girl, her hair style would be similar to this. Now, I'm going to see about, let's see, we don't have a workbench here, do we? One of the negatives of here. So I'm going to go and see about, I'm going to leave her here. We're going to go and we're going to upgrade our wigs. Let me show you that. I know this is going to take a moment. and It might be. Oh, Heimsker, man, calm down. He's, he's in rare form today. It's like, wow. Anyway, so we're going to head down to the forge, or the, not the forge, but the, um, wow, okay, my mind just went blank. Anyway, here, this, the workbench. I can't think of the name. That is so sad. Anyway, so we're going to head down to the workbench. We're going to improve, let's just improve these hairstyles. So you can get them up to 21. Oh, that one's... Uh, sorry, I, I, I hit the wrong thing there. I don't know what that was about. Oh, so I have two versions of Crescent. That's okay. We can do Desperate. Erratic. I think, I think these will look the best on... Um, on Electra, but you can certainly try them out for yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why I have two pixies. Maybe I accidentally made two. Some of these look really nice, though, and this is not a very big mod. I mean, really, you could... Um, I guess you would always have that hair color, 
But that's not totally a bad thing either. It just depends on what you want. Is that her hairstyle vapor? Maybe that's the hairstyle she... Then maybe that's her default hairstyle. So, don't talk to me. Anyway, so, okay, so see, my girl has this hairstyle, right? Her hair's kind of... So let's just go, and let's just... Ah, there we go. So now she's got that. Hold on. That's not really you. A preferred one in my book. Oh, too much clipping with that one. I do like that one, though. Let's try something else. Well, that's interesting, too. Oh, wait. Don't I have... Hold on a second. We're going to have our girl put her robes on for a minute. Okay, so we're going to wear her robes for a minute. This will be funny. Now, that might make this one work better. Let's see. Well, there's a little clipping, but it does look better. That does look better. Let's see. We tried, didn't we just try the crescent? Yeah, we did that. So let's do the desperate. See if we're desperate. Oh, that looks nice. Actually, that'll do. That'll do fine. So we'll go up here. By, I know. <laughs> but anyway, this is what Desperate looks like. So you won't see it again because I'm probably not going to put it on Electra. But it does look good. Now, oh, wait. Okay. This is a chance to show that this works. Serana, Serana, how you doing, girl? Anything good? Yeah, got something for you. Hold on. <laughs> We're going to give her a wig and see if she'll wear it. Let's see. What will be a good one for her? Maybe that? It might have some clipping with that armor, though. Maybe we should have her do kind of an up thing. What is that? Hmm. I'm trying to eliminate clipping. How about that one? Let's give her that one. Will she wear it for me? Oh, she put it on. Serana, thank you. That's so nice. I'll wait. Oh, wait. Serana, I, I want you to just wait here for a minute. If you say so. Yeah, I do. Just, Just stand there. Anyway, I think with Serana you can see that that hairdo looks pretty good. She will not let me get behind her, which is so funny. <sighs> Wait, I did get behind her for a second. Okay, there's some clipping in the back, but I'm going to let it ride. All right, Serana, you can follow me. Come on. I knew you'd miss me. <laughs> Come on. All right. So anyway. I work with my I know, I know. Wow, everyone's so talkative today. Oh, Heimsker's still yelling. Is she coming along? Yeah, she's slow, but she's coming. Electra's still standing up here. Yep, there she is. Hey, I, I like Dependable. That's good. All right, girl. Okay, so now we can try some different hairdos for her. Now notice... Like I said, we've already done we've done this one on my girl, and we did do that on oh sorry, we did do that on Serana. So you you can try these on your different followers, and they'll have the same hair color. And I guess you could even give each other these robes. <laughs> you could make multiple copies of those robes, so you could have a good time fooling around with this if you wanted to do a bunch of magey folks. Um, all right, so. No, we're not going anywhere yet. What do you want me to carry? I want you to try some different hairdos for me. Okay, so that's her default hair, which is not bad at all. Her default hair is fine. But we're going to have her try on some different ones. There's the angelic. Matter of fact, let's just give her all what of them, and then we'll... Well, it's easier if I control it one at a time, though. So there's the angelic. I'll just be here then. And see, it's kind of short in the back, but it's not horrible. Oh, oh, I'm falling off the thing. Oh no, get me off of there. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Ready to get going? No. Hold on a second. 
So this will this will take a moment. We could go through them faster, but you wouldn't see the names of them. Hmm. I am I'm, I'm debating on what to do about that. So I'm gonna take the angelic one from her. So what let's do? Let's let's do it the other way. It's gonna be a little quicker in your um if we do it this way. So just bear with me. We're gonna give her the cookie and the crescent. I don't know if she's gonna put every one of these on when we give them to her. I guess she is. So we had two crescents, so she put that on. And then here's the the equinox. She did not put that one on, so she's not going to always put them on. That's because they're all the same. If, if any of them were better than the others, she would put those on. Now, this is a little slow on my inventory, I'm going to say that. And that's not really a complaint, because it may not be... I have a feeling it's not this mod that's slowing my inventory down. I think it's the uh, medium-born armor and, and or uh, the pyro body that I'm trying out. I forgot the name of it already, but we're going to do a show on it. And I think it slows down your inventory a little bit, It and or it's the combination of those different things. But I don't think it's this mod. I don't think this mod has anything to do with it. Um, Now, Vapor, when we get to Vapor here, that looks like her default hairdo to me. But I'm going to give it to her anyway, and we'll still we'll still try it out. All right, so what we'll do... Okay, she's wearing the crescent, and you can see how that looks on her. We're going to take the crescent from her and let her put something else on. Okay, she put on the harvest, and you can see that. I'll just be here then. Yes, you just stay there. So you get an idea of what that looks like from behind as well. Oh, look at that. She turned to me. Of course she did. All right, so I'm going to just go through these a little quicker. And you can always experiment with these more. I don't want this to take forever. So, okay, so we're going to go through. That's the harvest. We're going to take that one away from her and see what she puts on next. Now she put the jackdaw on. Now, the only thing is, some of these, if you don't see the back, you really don't know what you're getting. And that's what the back of that looks like. Oh, did you need something? So, um... What do you want me to carry? So, for some of them, it doesn't, the back probably doesn't matter so much. Maybe we should just move on. So I'm going to move on through these. That's the Moonrise... And this is the only you, which is just a little, a little short style hairdo. Uh, this is the rosy cloud. Just gonna go e through each one of these. I'm just gonna look at the front of these now, cause it's gonna take forever if I do keep doing the other thing. And we wanna take her out and get into some trouble. This is snow. That's a nice hairstyle. Uh, Starlet, okay. Sweet Scar 2. I don't know why that's okay, but okay. That's the Vapor, and I think that's her standard hairdo. That's Cookie. That's the Equinox, or Equinox. Now, she's, she will supposedly still wear a circlet, too, so we might try that. That's Erratic. That's Genesis. The Genesis is, that's cool. It's got its own style. The Lilac Fog. Nova. Nova's good. Pixie. I don't know how they come up with some of these names, so I'm not making fun. Is that Pixie again? All right, well, there must have been two Pixies. Let's take it away. That's Runaway. Okay, that's all right. Serenity. It's nice. Titanium. Okay. 
Oh, okay, and there we go. So I'm going to give her one to just wear. Um, maybe the Genesis one. I don't know. That'll do. Let's just give her that one. That was cool. Cool enough, right? Gives her kind of a unique look. Um, okay, you can follow me because yes. we're going to go. I'm going to find some place for us to go. Maybe we'll go do some bandits first and just see what she does. Let's follow me. Come on. There we go. All right, so maybe we'll go do some bandits first just to give her an initial test, and we'll leave Serana's hair like that. It's kind of fun. And, uh, oh, yeah, we'll keep uh, Elris's too. It'll be hilarious. Matter of fact, I might put her armor back on her, though. Nonetheless, I will see you out in the wilds somewhere in a moment. Illogical. All right, so we're out here at Fort Greenwall. And I think we've got some bandits and stuff, and we're going to see what Electra will do. I'm going to tell Serana to wait here. here. And then I'm going to let this girl come with me. Oh no, Shadowmere has started the fight. See these outlaws here? There we go. Oh! Um... Okay. Oh, my goodness. She is strong. Okay, so this girl is a powerful, powerful follower. My goodness. Okay. Uh, this is cool. Oh, sorry. We got this little bit of lag here. And uh, again, this has to do with that power cast body. It slows your inventory down. We shouldn't have that problem again now, now that we've done it once. But still annoying that it happens that first time. Nonetheless, it doesn't always happen, but most of the times it happens the first time. So let's take her in here. I, I'm going to leave Shadow Mirror out there. And let's go see the boss here. The, the chief is up here usually. Oh, there she is. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Okay, I I have no problem with this follower. This follower, she is tough. Do we have anybody else around? Ah, she's looking for them. Let's see. Let's see if we can find somebody. There's somebody else around here. She seems to be a little glitch there. Maybe I need to find someone else to attack me. That's not unusual. Followers do have problems sometimes. Hmm. There's just the one woman up there. Is that all there is? It's usually a girl bandit. I think if you don't, if you don't use the mods I use, it's not necessarily a girl. But uh, wow, her, that hurt her all the way through the stone. Hello, how are you? Hey, does that look like Serana's face? It kind of does. We'll wait and see if our follower will come help us. Meanwhile, you can appreciate the blood on our camera. Oh, a little blood spurting there. That was gross. Yes. Well, okay. Hmm. Where is my follower? Where did she go? Is she... She might still be glitched. This happens occasionally. Oh my goodness. She is trying to cast, but she's not in the right place to get this, this particular bandit. And I don't think that bandit will come down here either. Tell you what, let's summon her up there. That'll be fun. Let's do that. There you are. Yes. Here I am to save the day. If you remember Mighty Mouse. Where'd you come from? Oh, I forgot that would summon Serana too. Well, it's too late. Nonetheless, wow. Um, Electra really knows how to kill some people. It's quite entertaining. We'll just take her stuff. All right, so Electra comes um, pretty powerful right off the bat. She comes pretty full. Let's head down here.
I don't think there's anyone else outside here. So let's take her inside and let her do her job, so to speak. Let's see. Let's leave Serana out here. Where is Serana? Come along. Serana is, like, slow. She'll get here, but she's slow. Do you need All right. something? Let's see. I need you to wait here. Another adventure. What now? Oh, you're off on your own for a while? All right. Okay, so just hold Still out there. Here. Um, Come on. We're going to take the other girl with us and see what we can do. So we're going to head into the Fort Greenwall prison. Is she still with me? There she is. All right. So pardon me. I will see you inside. Affirmative. All right. So we're just going to fool around with this for a little bit. Oh, there we go. Just to show you how powerful she is. Come on. Come on. Let me... Um, Do I not have a torch? I thought I would have a torch. Oh, well. I'm probably not going to need it. She's pretty much going to kill these guys. <laughs> She's going to kill these guys. Oh, my goodness. She has no tolerance for these guys. That's very good, though. Very good. Okay. Do I have a torch on this girl? I thought I would get a torch out just to make things brighter for the video. Let's just see if I got one. If I don't, maybe I'll grab one off the wall or something. I thought I had some, though. I do. I do. Okay. Ta-da! So now we have a torch. All right, just, just to make things a little brighter. It's really not going to make that much difference. Let's go see how much trouble we can get her into. Dun, dun. We're not even trying at all. Oh, let's go straight into the captain's quarters then. That's fine by me. This should be a short load, so it shouldn't be but a moment. So we'll just pop in on the captain, and we'll see how she does. I'm sure she'll, she'll want to whoop some booty. Oh, you picked a bad time to get lost. Let's see her in action. Oh my goodness. Her um her dude, her frosty dude is really tough too. Look at him. He just charges and moves and Oh, look at that. Yes, I get sometimes I get caught. Oh! The bandit chief is down. That quickly. She was down quickly. And the highwayman is down. Down and out. So I guess we could go up that way. Don't even know if we need to. Oh, what do we got here? Look at here. Got some coinage. Give me the coins. I don't really care about the mace, do I? All right. Oh, that's blood money. But we're taking it. We don't care. All right. So, um... Was that all? I thought there would be more people. Let's go back the other way. This is outside, right? Let's go back. Was there somewhere else to go down in the prison? I thought we had a down, you know, another level. I'm trying to speak, and my words are failing me. <laughs> or maybe I'm failing my words. I thought there was... Oh, there is. Ta-da, here's stairs. All right, let's go down this level. I thought there... Oh, look at this. Okay, this means spider, almost without a doubt. Yep, look at that spider. Go get him. Oh, there you go. Good job. Kill the other one. All right. Wow, I don't know what she does. That That's a big spell, though. It's like kaboom. And the earth shakes and everything. 
All right, well, that was cool. Was there anybody in the prison cells we need to worry about? I guess not. I take it, I take it this bandit had the misfortune to run into these spiders who chose to come down here at a bad time. Oh, same for her. Well, all right. Well, I think that pretty much shows, though, Electra is very powerful, and I haven't even bought any of those other spells. She is very powerful. And and with the... She's very, um... Wow, I'm losing... Like I said, I'm having trouble with my words today. Um... You know, you have a lot of options with her. Look, this table looks too good for this prison, doesn't it? It just looks too good. But anyway, um, she has, you know, a lot of good options. She's very um, moddable or, you know, uh, flexible is not the right word. But anyway, nonetheless, you can do quite a bit with her. You can change her quite a bit. We came down that way, right? What's out here? Is this outside? Oh, let's see what this is. Dun, dun, dun. Huh? Not too much. Dun, dun, dun. We get an iron helmet. Oh, the loot of kings. Loot of kings. Okay. All right. Well, come on, Electra. We're going to get out of here, and I'm going to show you her mod again, because I think we're done here. You see how powerful she is? Um... You have quite a bit of flexibility. Um, you don't have to keep her in that outfit. If you want to give her a different outfit, you could easily change it. But that is a good outfit. What do we got here? What's this? This is tunic, trousers, trousers, tunic. Oh, but here, I'll show you. I'll show you. You can change her clothing if you want to, if you have, like, um, if you have like uh, the immersive follower or AFT like I use, I, I think it's a little easier in AFT, but only because I'm just so accustomed to using AFT all the time. It just seems easy to me. What do you want me to carry? All right, so I'm just going to take her robes, okay? Didn't I just take them? Maybe she had two. Let's take them again. Okay, so she has a very muscular body. Not bad. She has a muscular body. Look at that. She's like tough Wonder Woman style. Nothing what wrong with that. She's like, you know. Hey, it suits her uh, powerfulness or, you know, her power level. But you could give her like, okay, yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give her those stupid things I just picked up. And I'm just being silly. If I can find them again, I forgot I had so much stuff in my... Okay, like let's just give her ragged trousers, okay? Now, for her, it's a whole suit, but nonetheless, see? She'll wear whatever you tell her to wear, even if it's not necessarily that good for her. Um, if you give her something to wear, she will wear it. See, even just the ragged trousers... Or you can have her run around like that if you want. I, it's not probably what I would do, but hey, suit yourself. It's your game. You should have fun. Um, let's give her her robes back. Yeah, I have two sets of her robes. So anyway, though, that's fine. You lead. So ta-da. I, I think she looks good in her robes. It kind of suits her hair and all, but you could you could make your own robes for her. You could give her a different look. Um, I don't think we can change her hair hair color or the color of these wigs. I don't think that's an option. Now, that might be on the PC. I think we were reading, and I think on the PC you could probably do that type of thing. See, that's open Skyrim. What's this? Did we come in this way? We did not come in this way, but there's really nothing in here, so I guess it doesn't matter. So let's go out. And we'll meet back up with Serana. Actually, I'm going to go out, but I'm going to see you in the mod menu in a minute.
Transfer complete. All right, so it brought us back here. We have been playing the full package, the Electra with the switchable hairstyles. Now, realize that you're going to get the same follower whether you get the hairstyles or not. If you want to get just her, just have the basic follower, and I say basic, she is a super powered, powerful follower. And if you're playing the, uh, the only one they fear is you with that mod or with the heavy metal combat mod, which is the new version of it, um, you may very well appreciate having this super powered follower with you. Uh, she seems very, very good. So, um, I don't know. I might, uh, I, I would be happy with just the basic version of her. I think she would be great. Um, she's very, like I said, she's very strong. So, that could be really useful when you're playing a really tough game. Now, if she doesn't come with all these clothes, but you can change her clothes to be what you want. You can give her whatever outfit you want her to have. Now, and there's all those spell books that I did not buy that you can buy for her, and she will know even more spells, and she will have more abilities. But just right out of the box, I mean, you notice I didn't do anything to change her or mess with her. She was really powerful. And um, I think that's what you need for, for some of this where we're coming up with these tougher combat mods, <laughs> which are fun, too. So anyway, I just want to mention that um, what we saw was the main full package. You can get the hairdo separately if you don't want the follower. But if you would like to have these hairdos, Raxinate has made this so that you can get it. Now, I may, even though this show is really for this mod, I may try to, to go ahead and include all three of these mods uh, in the links below. You know, I usually do some links down in the description below the video, so I'll try I'll try to remember to just go ahead and put all three of these down there, and you can you can see them that way. I know on the Xbox that's not always extremely helpful, but nonetheless, you can see them right here, and you can pick up any of these and use them. It looks like the most popular one is just the follower herself, which makes sense. And then it looks like this is still pretty fall pretty popular. Actually, wait, no, the most popular one may actually be the hairdos because look, it has more favorites. Yeah, so the hairdos is actually pretty popular, which is cool. And then the follower is too. And then the full package is not as popular, <clears throat> but I would say definitely the full package, if you like both of these, why not just get the one mod and be done with it? It's Size-wise, it's about the same thing and uh, definitely uh, would keep you from using multiple slots when you just could use one mod slot, so... Anyway, that's just a thought. You do whatever you want to do for you. If you like this, um, again, Electra, very super powered follower, very good follower. Uh, the hairstyles is an option, which is fun, and they act, they have armor, so they're like light armored. And uh, this is from Raxinate. And if you get this one, it's about 119 megabytes. There are bigger bigger follower mods. If you break it up, you can get this one for about 62 megabytes just for the hairstyles, um, which they were fun. And uh, then the Electra, just the follower, she's about 57 megabytes, which is not bad. She comes with her own body. She's not going to use whatever body you're using, but she has a lot of stuff built in. She's a merchant. She has... The, all these spells you can buy for her to change her abilities or to add to her abilities. Um, she can cure your diseases and heal you. So, oh, and she can teach you destruction magic. So she has a number of features. Raxinate has built in a lot. Um, so, all right. That is Electra. In any version you want to look at this, that is Electra, whether you get the full package or the just the follower, it's all very good. So, thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later.
right now. Move along. Nothing to see here. 